Hi everyone, welcome to Hardy Electronics. This project is all about JSM based water level monitoring and control system using Arduino and JSM module. In this project, your mobile phone receives the SMS alert about the water tank, whether the tank is full or empty. It also turns on the motor when the tank is empty or partially filled. The motor turns off automatically when the tank is full. Hence, you can monitor and control your tank from a remote distance using your phone. So let's get started with this project. Do you want professional PCBs like this one that looks so good then use the services of next PCB. You can select the board size, any solder mask color that you want including something like red and green. You can select the thickness and the PCB could be from 2 up to 32 layers for some more complex design. The finish quality is so good and if you want better connectivity, you could also select some gold finish for the pads. The ordering process is so easy. Just go to nextpcb.com then quit now. Insert your design setting, upload your cover files and order now. And receive the PCB in a couple of days. Welcome back again. Let's see what do you need for this project. We need an Arduino Nano board first. Then a 16 cross 2 LCD display called a JST162A. Then a pair of LED unit. One is a green LED and other is a yellow or red LED. For JSM part, you can use a small size JSM module called SIM800L. This is LM2596 DC to DC step down bulk converter module. This will be used for power supply. Finally, we need a read float switch used as a float center. Then a Vero board or a gyro PCB for placing all of them together. Apart from this, we also need a single channel relay. 560 ohm resistor and some other components. You can purchase all these components from this Amazon link. This is the circuit diagram for this project. For the power supply part, you need to supply 9V to bulk converter module as input. This 9V will also be the input for Arduino board. The output of bulk converter is set to 4V only, which is the input supply for GSM module. The LED and buzzer is connected to Arduino digital pin. The LCD also requires so many connections as shown in the image. Also, connect the relay and float switch sensor to analog pin A0 and A1 of Arduino. Rest of the details can be read on the website article. This is the code for this project. We are using software serial library to assign the TX and RX pin of GSM module. The pin for LED, buzzer, relay and float sensor is assigned in this line. Under this function, we have written the parameters for all the conditions of sending SMS and turning on or off motor based on float sensor switch data. From this line set up your mobile number where you want to send SMS. Now from the tools menu, select Arduino Nano Boot and then a COM port. Then hit the upload button to upload the code. Once code is uploaded, you can start testing device. Now, let me show you the working of this project. When powered on, the LCD will show welcome message. Wait for some time so that the JSM connects to the cellular network. So immediately the JSM will send you the message stating the water level monitoring has started. At this moment, the motor will turn on and status can be seen on LCD screen. Now, wait for some time for the motor to fill the water tank. So finally the tank is full and float switch has taken the position to off. Now the motor is turned off and you can also check the status on mobile phone as SMS has been sent. That's all about JSM based water level monitoring system. 
using Arduino with SMS notification. You can use this project for your industrial applications or as a demo college project. The complete project details including device information, process link, source code and written guide can be followed in the How to Electronics website article. In case you have any other questions, you can comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.